Hello there. In this video, I'll illustrate how to draw an AON or activity on node project network for a series of eight activities and then identify the paths as well as the critical path. So the table you see here provides us all of the information on the eight activities, the immediate predecessors, and how long each activity takes in days. Our objective is simple to determine how long it should take Dave and his team to complete the project and what are the critical path activities. So I've already drawn some activity nodes here to uh, get us started. As we can see, the first activity is A and has no immediate predecessors. So that's the one that we're going to start with. Then we look at activity B and we see that actually both B and C have A as an immediate predecessor. So what we can do then is grab each of the activities B and C and put them in our map, something like that. And then we can join them with a couple of lines here. The next activity, actually the next two activities, both D and E, have B as an immediate predecessor. So we can grab those two activities, take D and let's say put that about there on our chart. And then we'll grab activity E and pull that one somewhere around there like that. And then add a couple of lines to join them. So now that we've completed those, activity F has activity C as its immediate predecessor. So F is going to come down a little bit lower about here in our diagram, something like that. And then we see activity G comes off of activity D. We'll take G, put it about there. And then activity H has both E and F as immediate predecessors. So we'll grab activity H, put it somewhere about there so it looks something like that. And then we will join them. Now you'll notice that G and H are the last activity nodes and they, make, they actually need to come to an end. So we're gonna create an oval to represent an end point. And we'll just move that a little bit closer so that activities G and H can then come to that end point. We call this end point a dummy node. And we only need to use it if we have more than one activity that's the last one in the list. Now, because we've added an end node, then it's also good practice to, at the same time, add a begin node. So that's what our AON diagram should look like. I usually draw the diagrams first based on the predecessor relationships and then put in the uh, activity times. So we will now put the activity times A takes three days, B takes four, C takes six days, D takes also six days, E is four, F is four, G is six, and H is eight. So there we have our completed diagram. Now what we can do is identify all the paths that we have. A path is just following the arrows all the way through the diagram. So for example, one of the paths that we have is A, B, D, G, and N. So I'm gonna list that as one of the paths. So we have paths. A, B, D, and G. And what we can also do at the same time is determine how long or how many days it takes if we went along that path. So A is three days, B is four, D is six plus six. That's a total of 19 days. So path A, B, D, G is 19 days. We have another path that's A, B, E, H, and A, B, E, H, and if we add all those days up together, three, four, four, and eight, that will equal also 19 days. Well, you can see that there's still one path left. A, C, F, H, and is the last path. A, C, F, H, and that's three, six, four, and eight, for a total of 21 days. So now, as you can see in our diagram, we have three paths, ABDG, 19 days, ABEH takes 19 days, and ACFH takes 21 days. The path that has the longest time is known as the critical path. So in our example here, the critical path is ACFH, and will take 21 days to complete. The project cannot be completed in less than 21 days.